Welcome once again. Right now we're at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 14, all the way through to the end of the chapter, verse 26. Apostolic doctrine and practice. Paul continues his letter to Timothy saying, Remind them of these things, charging them in the sight of the Lord that they don't argue about words to no profit, to the subverting of those who hear. Give diligence to present yourself approved by God, a workman who doesn't need to be ashamed, properly handling the word of truth. But shun empty chatter, for it will go further into ungodliness, and those words will consume like gangrene, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus, men who have erred concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past, and overthrowing the faith of some. However, God's firm foundation stands. Having this seal, the Lord knows those who are his. And with that, Paul quotes Torah again, quoting Numbers chapter 16, verse 5. And let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart from unrighteousness. Now in a large house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver. You can use the word items here instead of vessels. So Paul said in a large house, there are not only items of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of clay. Some are for honor and some for dishonor. If anyone therefore purges himself from these, that is the vessels of dishonor, he will then be a vessel for honor, sanctified and suitable for the master's use, prepared for every good work. Flee from youthful lusts, Pursue righteousness. Pursue righteousness. How many pastors preach that in their churches today? Pursue righteousness. Flee youthful lusts. When's the last time you heard that? Pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But refuse foolish and ignorant questionings, knowing that they will generate strife. The Lord's servant must not quarrel, but be gentle toward all, able to teach, patient, in gentleness correcting those who oppose him. Perhaps God may give them repentance, leading to a full knowledge of the truth, and they may recover themselves out of the devil's snare, having been taken captive by him to do his will. I feel it is necessary to clarify and define the word repentance again. Repentance is not feeling sorry. Repentance is not remorse. Repentance is not regret. Repentance means change. It means changing your ways, changing your lifestyle for holiness, for righteousness. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about moral decline in the last days. It's going to be awesome. Until then, seek God with all your heart. If you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.